Kappa Karis Collins, YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, the Bengals, so you of course remember them last season. They won a Super Bowl. How could you forget? Um, and one of their Achilles heels from all season long, even though they obviously found plenty of ways to counter it all season long, them having a bad offensive line um, that ended up costing them in the Super Bowl. And it was a couple of other things too, but. That was one of their biggest issues throughout last year. Um, so going into this offseason, the expectation was that they would try to revamp their offensive line. I mean, you want to protect Joe Burrow. Two years ago, uh, he got taken out for the season uh, due to not having any blockers. And then, of course, this year he was the most sacked quarterback in the league due to not having any blockers. So the Bengals went into this offseason knowing that they needed to get some what? some blockers and they did just that and the latest domino to fall was somebody who the cowboys they were trying to trade and he was on a good deal like an affordable deal for so many teams like three years 30 million like 10 mil per like that's it that's it so people could have afforded that um so the cowboys started shopping lyle collins and just nobody was buying Nobody was biting. Nobody was going for it. And so we waited and waited and waited and waited. Then the Cowboys was like, all right, we're going to release him. So everybody still waited and waited like, okay, uh, are they going to release him? Or, because, you know, a, a lot of teams, they just say that. They say that they're going to release such and such player uh, only so just, just so they can get one last, that's their last effort, their last pitch to the league to let them know like, hey, somebody, please, come on, take them off our hands. Give us some kind of draft collateral something. Give us six round picks, seven round picks, something. Because hey, he's all yours. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing happened. So the Bengals, they get to get Lyle Collins for free. For, didn't he play at LSU? I, I, I'm, I'm feeling like he played at LSU. But I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. But either way, um, so the Cowboys, they finally end up releasing him. And it was said that the Bengals and the Dolphins were interested. But he flew out of Cincinnati for a visit first. And then he had his visit. We didn't hear anything about it. Didn't hear any good. Didn't hear any bad. Just heard he had a visit with the Bengals. And then it's like, all right, he's, he's going to think about it. Didn't hear anything. But apparently uh, this was his thought. And he decided, you know what? I'm rolling with Cincinnati. They done show me enough. So the Bengals, they, they waited. They played the waiting game. Like any other teams that were possibly interested in him did, and they upgraded their offensive line. <laughs> they didn't even have to give up any draft picks. And see, the, the, the best part about that is that you get to inherit Lyle Collins, and you get to come up with the contract terms for him. You don't have to take on his contract. No, no, no. You get to come up with your own contract terms. So... Who knows what kind of deal it'll be. If I had to guess, it, it is 442 as of this recording right now. Um, but if I had to guess, I would say it's probably like a two or three year deal. You know, the Bengals, they like putting all the guarantees in that first year. And then they like, all right, any guarantees past that? <laughs> That's it, buddy. Just in case we got to cut you. But um, yeah, I would say like a probably like a two, three year deal because he's still a young guy. Uh, now, I did hear some stuff that I, I don't even want to talk about that because I don't know if it's true or not. So I can't speak on that as to why the Cowboys wanted to cut him. But I'm not sure what the case is. But either way, Bengals, they they have shown this offseason like they are really trying to upgrade, especially offensive line with all the moves that they make. And they've been having pretty good offseason, pretty good offseason um, because their focus has been on that offense. Uh, really that offensive line. But even with the swap, even with the swap, they lost C.J. Uzama, who he was, he was a good tight end there. Uh, but his numbers that he put up, it's like it, it, it wasn't anything too crazy. But then they got Hayden Hurst. So it's like, I mean, that was a good move. That's probably uh, my favorite move that they made. Um, probably because I'm a Ravens fan and I know about Hayden Hurst and know what he has the potential to do. He just gotta have the um the play to do it. He gotta have the uh he gotta have the um what's the word I'm looking for? Uh he gotta have the opportunity. He gotta have the opportunity to do it. He was he had it in Baltimore originally, but then he got hurt. So that was that. And then he had it in Atlanta, then Atlanta was like, uh, you know what, uh, Kyle Pitts. So 
And then that was that. So now he became a free agent. Then the Bengals were like, oh, you know what? We think you could do just fine. And think about that, too. Hayden Hurst being in his offense, with an offensive line now, <laughs> but Hayden Hurst being in his offense, they already got, what, 3,000 yard receivers? At Hayden Hurst, they're going to draw a lot of attention. You know, Jamal Chase, like, it's crazy because this dude drew so much attention, but he still went off. He still continued to go off. Even though, you, like, you knew, you knew the, that ball was going to number one, but he still went off. But now, with, with him going into his second year, Tyler Boyd going into another year, uh, T. Higgins going into his, this is third or fourth year? I think it's his third, I think it's his third year. Um, but either way, those guys are going to draw attention big time. And then, of course, Mixon. But then Hayden, Hayden Hurst is going to, he, he can feed off all that. He can be like, oh, everybody's watching them. They ain't worried about me. Oh, hey, hello. Hey, Burrow, hit me. So, anyway, we'll see how this thing goes. But good move by the Bengals. I do love how the AFC North, they, they, they getting better. They getting better. Everybody making moves to try to get better. Bengals, their weakness, offensive line, they made it better. Browns, their weakness, quarterback, you know the rest of that story. Ravens, their weakness, offensive line, they, they got Morgan Moses. And hopefully Ronnie Stanley will come back healthy. Steelers, their weakness, quarterback, Mitch Trubisky. Okay. <laughs> 